Hey everybody, it's Robert Anthony with robertanthonyflorist.com. And so in this video, I'm going to give you a basic understanding of what's happening when you process flowers, okay? You need to watch this video first, obviously you are, before you watch any of the other uh, videos on flower processing. In the flower processing videos, I'll be using the same type of setup to process the flowers, which is what you should do as well, okay? So you're always gonna need buckets, I use the five gallon paint pail, uh, you know, Home Depot Lowe's, they carry them. Uh, sometimes, depending on the length of the stem, you can get away with the two and a half gallon, but you'll need a bucket. The bucket should be clean, all right? If it has had anything in it, insecticides or garbage or anything, the buckets need to be cleaned with some kind of a disinfectant type soap. Don't use bleach, okay? That's bad for the flowers. So um, you need a bucket. You're going to need an apparatus by which you can cut the flowers. You'll need a processing table or somewhere that, you know, is a flat surface because you're going to need some room, okay? You're going to need either a pair of scissors, a paring knife of some kind, it needs to be sharp, or some kind of pruning shears, okay? The preference in this order would be number one is a pair of pruning shears. Number two would be a paring knife. The last and worst option is a pair of scissors, okay? I'm not going to get into why, but just trust me when I tell you, pruning shears first, paring knife second, scissors last option, bad option, last option. So if you're ready, let's get started on watching the flowers that you need to put away. Or let's, let me say that again, if you're ready, wait, okay, if you're ready, Let's get started on watching the videos that help you understand how to process the flowers that you're going to purchase. See you later.